Let's understand about magnetic flux. This is a magnet. This is the magnetic field around it. We know these magnetic field consist of magnetic lines of force which are passing from north pole to south pole of the magnet. Now take a small cardboard. This is its surface. Place this cardboard inside magnetic field like this. Observe some magnetic lines passing through surface of cardboard. Let's say three magnetic lines are passing. These three magnetic lines passing through this surface gives magnetic flux. Observe this line is not passing through surface, so this line is not counted. Similarly, other lines that are not passing are not counted. Magnetic flux is defined as the number of magnetic field lines passing through a surface placed in a magnetic field. Magnetic flux is denoted by symbol phi and is measured in units called Weber. Now rotate cardboard and place like this. Observe, cardboard is still in magnetic field. But number of magnetic lines passing through its surface is zero. As no magnetic lines are passing, magnetic flux is also zero. Now place cardboard surface like this near pole of magnet. Observe, six magnetic lines are passing. Magnetic flux is increased when compared to cardboard placed here. We know at poles, magnetic strength is more. So more magnetic lines pass through surface. Therefore, magnetic flux is more at poles when compared to here. Now place cardboard outside magnetic field. Observe no magnetic line passes through surface. Therefore magnetic flux is zero. We can say magnetic flux depends on magnetic field strength and how surface of the object is placed inside magnetic field. Now let's understand what is magnetic flux density. In magnetic flux we considered whole surface of cardboard. But in magnetic flux density we consider only unit area of the surface. Unit area equals to unit length into unit width. If we consider CGS system we take unit area equals to 1 cm length into 1 cm width. We have unit area equals to 1 cm square. Similarly, if we consider SI system Unit area is 1 meter square. Place this cardboard in magnetic field. Such that angle between cardboard and magnetic lines is 90 degrees. Observe magnetic lines are passing through cardboard surface. These are called magnetic flux. Again observe some magnetic flux passing through this unit area. This magnetic flux passing through unit area is magnetic flux density. Magnetic flux density is defined as the amount of flux passing through a unit area at right angles to the magnetic field lines. Magnetic flux is denoted by B and is measured in units called Tesla. Weber per meter.